Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about hyperparameter optimization techniques. So let's say we have hyperparameters A and B. We're going to look at three uh, methods of uh, optimizing them, a grid search, random search, and Bayesian optimization. Now we're not going to go into the details and the mathematics and algorithms and so on, especially for Bayesian optimization, but at the same time, we'll just get an overview of how they work so we know the differences. Okay, so the first one is grid search. So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to first, uh, we're going to understand what we're looking at here. So uh, this is hyperparameter A and hyperparameter B. And so f just for argument's sake, we've assumed they're from zero to one. Each one of them is uh, plotted from zero. Well, it has ranges from zero to one. And this is a two dimensional um, projection of a three dimensional plot. So if you imagine in three dimensions, uh, the, the third dimension is our basically what we're optimizing. So let's say we're optimizing R squared, we're looking for the best uh, model with the best R squared. So uh, blue represents the height of our, of that third dimension, in this case R squared. So this high, darkest blue is means it's the highest and then goes down and red means the lowest. So this is very bad model performance, almost R squared is almost zero, this is very good, R squared is almost one, this is also pretty good. Uh, so this is also bad. And so what grid search does is you see these little X's? Well, that's basically what we did. We, we took, we take, we take a par parameter, hyperparameter A, and we specify a grid. We say, okay, so hyperparameter A, we know is between zero and one. Uh, we're gonna start from, uh, let's say here in this case, is about 0 0.05 with a step of 0 0.1. So 0 0.05, 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.35, 0 0.45, 55, et cetera, up to 0 0.95. So we specify that that's the range for parameter A. And for hyperparameter B, we're specifying I guess similar in this case, but it doesn't have to be the same thing. It can be something, some other values. You can just specify exact values which you want. They don't have to be equidistant from each other. Um, or as in like, they don't have to be for a certain step. But in this case, it's 0 0.05, 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.35, etc., up to 0 0.95. And then what um, the algorithm will do uh, for you is it will actually just test out all the possible combinations. So as we can see, Every one of these X's is a uh, test that the algorithm runs. So, and then out of all of them, uh, it will return the best one. So maybe the best one here is this one or this one or my, one of these ones. See, it didn't get to the final, the up actual maximum, but it got very close. So you get one of these and as a result, it'll tell you what hi the hyperparameter was. So in the case, let's say, let's say this one was the best one. Hyperparameter A was 0 0.35, hyperparameter B was 0 0.45, and it'll tell you what the R squared was. So that's grid search. Now, if we take a uh, random search and apply it to the same problem, basically you specify uh, what range you want A and B to be in, and then you just let the algorithm uh, randomly choose a certain number of combinations from there and see which best result comes up with. Um, so here you can see we got lucky and it was able to find this one. Uh, and it will return that as the as the value of the A and B hyperparameters and the R squared for that. And then finally, if you use Bayesian optimization, it's actually smarter. It, uh, what it does it, is it combines exploration and exploitation. It randomly searches at the start, and then as soon as it finds something like, like let's say it's found this one, is this one's quite good, it keeps exploring around that area, and then it finds, oh, this one's even better. It keeps exploring around that area, and fi it keeps finding better ones. But also, at the same time, occasionally does random ones to see if, to make sure it's not stuck in a local minimum. Let's say if this was a local minimum, and this this one was even better, let's, hypothetically, let's say this was a, even better, then I instead of just like going straight to, to this place and like ch ch only checking these values here, it was, it's still going to do random ones and might find the better one. But in this case, this is the best one. And it's as you can see, it's doing quite a good job coming here. Now make sure to check out these videos on the right or the full course in the description to continue your learning. And I look forward to seeing you there.